During my videos, I'm sure I frequently refer to our preferred distributor, which is 123 Ignition's um, electronic DSI for these engines. Now these are just superbly engineered units um, and very helpful engineers over in Holland. Uh, so helpful in fact, that if you buy what we regard as the fire and forget, which is their part number B18, B20, R, V, they actually program a special one for us. So if your part number, manufacturer's part number is Amazon, B18, B20, RV, then you happen to get an unleaded fuel curve um, in this distributor. It's curve number three. If it doesn't say Amazon in that part number, then it just has the original leaded fuel curves. It's only from us that you can get this. So when 123 came out with these distributors, we must have been one of the first consumers of them. Um, and indeed, very early on, we ran the London to Cape Town car on one of these distributors because I was so confident in them. Um, and it was at that time that we designed that unleaded fuel curve. And what it means is that all that low and mid-range torque that you lost because of having to retard the ignition for unleaded fuel, you get back again because the timing now is good at the bottom end of the curve and retarded at the top, which is what unleaded wants. So, um, far and forget, if it says Amazon B18, B20 RV as the part number, you get an unleaded fuel curve. That comes from us, Amazon cars. Today, uh, however, I'm fitting our preferred motorsport option, which is the B18, B20 Tune, is the part number. Uh, in the Tune, uh, you, can, you connect via the USB port here to your computer, and you can program in your own curve. I'll supply you with our best guess first pass curve, which will get you going, and then you can just tune it accurately for exactly your engine. Now, the great thing about this distributor is that this here yellow wire goes to a dash-mounted switch you can either select ground or 12 volts, and that will select on the fly curve one or curve two of the two curves you programmed. What is the use of that? Well, there are various, but the most obvious choice for us, and one that worked very well on the London to Cape Town rally, is that curve one, which is when this is grounded, we use as good fuel. So that's our full advanced curve, uh, expecting high quality fuel. If in fact in Egypt you pick up some very poor quality fuel as we did, then you can switch it over to curve two by making this 12 volts. And that curve is about five degrees retarded on the good fuel curve. And all of a sudden, instead of pinking dreadfully and having to feather the throttle the whole time, you can start using the engine hard again. There was actually another advantage on the London to Cape Town rally that we discovered, and that was out of the road from Moyale down to Mars a bit, which was called the road to Mars because it was such a dreadful condition road. And you're picking your way between large rocks of, of up to a foot diameter. Um, by going to the poor fuel curve, the retarded fuel curve, we could trickle it along in second gear without the engine spitting back at idle and just play the throttle as you picked your way around the rocks. Uh, so that was another quite nice advantage of going to the second curve. Anyway, in most UK use, you probably won't need that second curve. So you'll just ground this. What other wires have we got? Well, we've got plus 12 volts ignition. So that's the red power cable uh, for ignition on. The black cable goes to coil negative. And then importantly, the blue cable goes to earth. Now I've already terminated mine. Uh, so just to recap on that, the power supply is plus tw 12 volts ignition to the red and the negative on the blue. Black goes to coil minus 
and yellow goes to us either gets earthed if you're only going to use one curve or take it to a dashboard switch which selects between earth and 12 volts let's put it in now i've already turned my engine so we've got number one on the firing stroke at top dead center and there's 30 degrees there's 20 degrees there's 10 degrees we're at 17 just here and my yellow mark is at zero top dead center okay so just to recap number one is firing 17 degrees before top dead center let's go and put the dizzy in So there we go, uh, just te check with my fingertips or eyeball it that it has nicely engaged with the oil pump drive at the bottom there and that the dizzy is sitting flush with its clamp. Now let's just rig up the earth cable which is blue. Now, if you're only going to use one curve in this distributor and not bother with curve number two, then take your yellow cable to this same earth point. So our electronics now have a good earth, like so. Now we hook up the curve selector, which is the yellow. So that goes into and, and I'm sure many of you have spotted this before now that I do like my Lucas connectors. And that's what these are, Lucas connectors. There we go, securely select. So that now leads to my switch on the dashboard. And here is where that yellow wire terminates on this toggle switch curve one on the left, curve two on the right. So I'm just going to put that curve one, which as you recall is earthed, or curve two, which is 12 volts. So we went on curve one. Right, let's continue. So we've got our earth strap, we've got our curve selector. Now let's give it some 12 volts power. There it is. Which is the red wire? On the red wire. So now and uh, as per the instruction manual, we'll leave the coil wire off for the time being. Um, that's a safety feat. That's a safety uh, aspect. That is, don't put it on until you finish timing. I possibly notice that all the electrics are new on this, so I'm just going to verify. We've got zero volts now. I put ignition on, and there we have 12 volts. Good. Now the B18B20 distributor rotates anti-clockwise. So therefore, to find the trigger point, we're going to rotate the body of the dizzy clockwise, that way. And what I want to do is rotate it clockwise until the green LED in the base plate lights up, which you're going to see just about here. We're looking through this slot here and you'll see a green LED illuminate when I get to the firing point. I rotate and slowly, steadily, bang, there goes a spark. 
So now we nip up the pinch bolt. And we'll rotate the engine back a little bit. And wind it forward. There it triggers. And we have 18 degrees there. No. Just retard it a very small amount which is anti-clockwise, there it goes, and final check, back it off and then wind it forward. And we have 17 degrees on the timing point there. A quick check. There it is. Yep, that's nipped up nicely. Switch the ignition off. We can now connect up the black wire to the coil negative terminal there. And get our HT lead set. So we get our cap. And we see that the locating tab is there, which corresponds to there. So therefore, this is number one. Just to help you, one, three, four, two. Because the dizzy goes anti-clockwise. Pop the cap on, just check that it's nice and snug. Number one is the longest HT lead. And then push its shroud down, so that's number one. Three and four are the two shorties. And two is the middle length one. In go the spark plugs. So, uh, NGK spark plugs. We prefer the NGKs and either a choice of BPR7HS um, if your engine suffers badly from run on, or BPR6HS if your engine isn't so bad on run on. And take it down till it nips, and then just a gentle tightening. There. 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 One, three, four, two. And on with the king lead. Okay, um, so I'm going to get the front panel onto this car and the radiator in, and then we'll fire it up. Uh, so we'll see you in a short while. Okay, so um, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. So let's try firing up this brand new engine build with our 123 ignition distributor. There we go. And that's pretty much what I expect. Um, I 
if we're presented a car that has running issues, the first thing I'll do is fit a one, two, three, because I know that when I fire that car up, the ignition will be perfect and I can just spend my time investigating fuel delivery if uh, to, to identify exactly what the problem with the engine is. Um, so yep, if, um, if you get it right and it, it's straightforward, just do it carefully, think about what the instructions tell you and um, you'll hit the button and it'll fire up first time. One thing you will find if you've been running unleaded fuel is that your idle speed will now be a bit high. Um, so you'll just have to wind back the idle speed a touch. So there we go. One, two, three ignition. Um, and they are superb. Uh, make no mistake about it. I didn't carry a spare distributor when I did London to Cape Town. Gosh, that was in 2011? 2012. 2012. 2012 um, because we were that confident in it and, it and it's never proved us wrong. Uh, we fit them to all our Peking to Paris cars and we fit them to all our UK cars where we can convince the customer that they're a good idea, which generally isn't difficult once they see. Thank you very much.